Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and today we have an episode of Biblical Proportion. Uh, incredible stuff, milestone, things that never happen. I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so according to estimates of experts, um, Tesla have delivered 194,000 cars in the United States. Why is this number important? is because when a manufacturer of electric or plug-in hybrid cars reaches the 200,000 mark of the cars delivered in the United States, the $7,500 federal incentive tax starts to roll back. So for you, if you are the first time visiting my channel, welcome, please subscribe. Uh, but uh, uh, just for you to know, uh, the government since I think 2010 uh, been giving uh, individuals who buy a plug-in hybrid or a pure electric car up to $7,500 to be written off from their taxes and uh, the deal is that when a car manufacturer not the uh, not the Tesla Model S versus Tesla Model X or Chevy Volt versus Chevy Bolt the whole manufacturer so GM Tesla uh, I don't know, Nissan, Hyundai, and on and on. If you one, Once you reach 200,000 cars delivered in the United States, then the rules goes like this. So listen to this because I tell you how it affects Tesla. So once you hit 200,000, you still, the people who buy the next car, 200,001, the next cars for the next, for the remainder of that quarter of the year, still get the 7500 plus the next quarter so they remain let's say there's a month left in this quarter or two months left in this quarter this quarter and the next quarter so let's say it's six months eight months seven months whatever that is so no more than eight months obviously uh, um, so um, I'm sorry no more than six months because it's it's, it's a quarter so um, that then after that the next two quarters it goes down by half and after that it goes away altogether got it so the remainder of the quarter plus uh, the next quarter 7500 then the uh, following two quarters it goes by half you get half of the tax incentives for that uh, uh, particular manufacturer and then it goes away so Tesla now has reached six, uh, 194,000, which is 6,000 uh, remaining. Uh, just for you to know, last month alone, Tesla delivered uh, over 6,000 Model 3s alone, over 9,000 Teslas altogether. So this month they can reach this, uh, this uh, uh, milestone. So obviously the $7,500 is a big time incentive. It's, it's advertised all over. Any car manufacturer who sells this, oh, minus 75, minus state and local taxes. So that is a big deal. So Tesla can manipulate, manipulate their deliveries this next couple months uh, and deliver less uh, so they can uh, start, they can reach this uh, 200,000 milestone when the, when at the beginning of next uh of the next quarter so they can get two full quarters that's six months two full quarters so three six nine twelve uh so if they can get at the beginning of the next quarter because remember it's the remainder of the quarter plus the next one so if the remainder of the quarter will be at the beginning then it's six it's six months it's two full quarters all right and then half for the next six months and then it goes away so that they buy they can buy basically a year or they can just let the clock run, like in basketball. Let the clock run and see what happens. And what happens, what happens. Now, eventually, it's going to go away. Whether it's Tesla or Chevy or Nissan Leaf, doesn't matter. These incentives will fade away for all electric car manufacturers. So what will be the incentive later on for people that are not me, not like me. I'm a diehard. I, I do whatever. So people that are not idealistic or just want better car and they don't mind how much it costs. 
how would that affect them? Will it affect them? Uh, you know, other manufacturers can, can uh, you know, reduce their price. They can reduce their price. Oh, there's a Tesla. They can reduce their price. That's, uh, that's also a possibility. I know that uh, in New Jersey, for example, PSCN, PSCNG had a deal with, uh, with BMW that you can get up to $10,000 off uh, BMW i3. You know, if, if you wanted to buy that. Uh, there's always, always, always incentives and local incentives that states and manufacturers can work together. So there, there are always ways to do it. In New Jersey, no matter what the number is, you do not pay sales tax on a pure electric car. Not a plug-in hybrid, a pure electric car. The Nissan Leaf I'm driving now, I did not pay the uh, sales tax, which is a big chunk of money. Big chunk of money. So you see that you can work that out but uh, in not different states are have different rules right so what do you think would happen what will be the effect of this biblical proportion uh, milestone that tesla is uh, just about to reach so leave your comments below questions and meantime don't forget to subscribe to my channel help me change the world one electric car at a time and support my channel by becoming a patron all right see you tomorrow